Okay, this one's for uh, Tom up in Boston. He's in self-isolation and was hoping for a little uh, help in a short game. So I'm out here in my backyard and uh, I've put some alignment rods on the ground, really just as a visual so you can uh, see where the ball position truly is. So Tom, what I want you to do is make sure you set up with that ball towards the back of your stance. And I'm flexible. You know, obviously we're gonna want different trajectories. The lower you wanna hit it, we're gonna put it back closer to our, say our right toe. We want to get a little bit more height on it i'm going to say three quarters of the way back very rarely will i move it up into the middle of my stance unless i'm trying to hit something you know super high so i'm going to start with just three quarters of the way back here weight's going to be on our left side you know and all we really want to do here is just tilt to our left side you know we don't want to get to our left side and then go this way because that's going to cause a whole host of other issues so simply just tilt over to your left side kind of like the leaning tower of pisa You'll notice here, relative to this alignment stick, my feet are open. I always want my, my body a little bit open to the target. Uh, since we don't have a full motion, we're not gonna be able to create that rotation in the swing that we normally would. So we're gonna preset it open just to kind of get our, our lower body out of the way. All right, so weights on my left side, let's call it 65, 70%. My hands are always kind of on the inside of my left thigh here. And the big key here is to make sure you pivot your body, right? So we're gonna swing back and we're gonna pivot the body. And that sometimes can feel a little bit weird on a short shot, uh, but it's necessary so that you can keep the golf club, the handle of the golf club traveling uh, in front of the club head. Uh, and even if we decide to release this and, and create a little bit more height, it's important to pivot the body so that the head never gets way ahead of the handle this way, which can cause you to hit the ground first, bounce it and scull it. All right, so weight on the left side. Hands are on the inside of my left thigh. Okay, and now I'm gonna pivot the body. Good. Let's do that again. And the key, to, the key to pivoting the body and to getting the club to swing through is to control the backswing. What happens with so many people is they swing back too far, and then when they come down, their brain knows they're gonna hit it too far, so they stop their bodies. When their body stops, then you have to dump the club. You have to dump the club head and release it. And a lot, a lot of times that's gonna land the club early. It's gonna bounce and scull it. You can chunk it. Uh, your body can lift up. You can do a lot of different things. So keep the backswing relatively compact and that will force you to go ahead and wanna release through the and create some speed. So balls back, hands ahead. Now my weight's gonna stay on my left side the whole time. We don't wanna shift our weight. Good, do that again. All right. Weight's on the left side, stays on the left side throughout the swing. So if I've got 70% of my weight on my left, it's 70%, 70%, 70%. And as I start to make the transition, I'm only gonna go further into my left side. Maybe it's 80%. All right. So on the left side, stay on the left side. Back swing's gonna be compact. Accelerate through and let that body pivot to the target. All right, hope that helps you.